how to set up and stay organized on LinkedIn Sales Navigator. So LinkedIn Sales Navigator is obviously a very powerful tool because of the filters that are available to find your ideal prospects and leads, but also for the ability to keep track of them. And that's something that most people don't use Sales Navigator effectively to do. So what I'm going to show you in this video is how to set up lead lists on LinkedIn and saved searches that are going to save you hours throughout the day. What you will walk away with at the end of this video is the ability to have a saved search that you can come back to every single day to find the new leads that have connected with you, the people that you'll need to send messages to, and the people that you might need to follow up with in the future. So a couple features that we're going to be taking advantage of in LinkedIn Sales Navigator today are lead lists, as well as lead filters and saved searches. So lead lists are really the way that we're going to turn LinkedIn into what I like to call a cold outreach CRM. So before stuff goes into HubSpot or Salesforce or whatever you utilize, using LinkedIn to keep track of that cold outreach beforehand is going to be probably the best way to keep track of a cold outreach pipeline and make LinkedIn really a sales pipeline funnel. So we're going to create these lead lists and then we're going to create these saved searches. And I'll wrap up the video by kind of showing you how they all piece together. Piece together. So bear with me as we set up these lead lists, but this is going to be core to keeping track and organizing LinkedIn Sales Navigator and your outreach and lead generation pipeline. So the first lead list you're going to create is connection request sent. And I'm just going to put a one next to it because you can only save 999 leads to each lead list. Then I'm going to make another one called message sent. I'm going to make another lead list called responded. Another one called follow up. And a final one called in mail sent. Well, this might not make a ton of sense right now. You're going to want to go through and make these lists. And I promise that it will all make sense and come together throughout this video. So now that we have these lead lists made, we can go to saved searches and start including and excluding based on these criteria. So I'm just going to make a basic search, second and third degree connections, United States. Let's say that my industry is professional services and I want to target chief executive officer or CEO. Now what we're going to do is add these other filters in that are going to allow us to kind of come back to the saved search on a regular basis. So the goal of this is to make the saved search one time, then save it so we can come back to it in the future. And every day when we log into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, it makes it really easy to do work without having to recreate this saved search. So in order to make sure we're not duplicating work, what we're going to do is remove anybody that we've contacted. So anybody that we send a message to in the future will automatically be removed. And we're also going to exclude all of our saved leads. So this is going to make it as we work off of this list, the list will get smaller over time. So another really big feature that I love about LinkedIn Sales Navigator is the ability to filter for people who have posted on LinkedIn in the last 30 days. I'd recommend if you're able to use that, to use it, because that's how you're going to know that you're reaching out and connecting with people that are actually active on the platform. So I'm still at 44,000 results. Each saved search is only going to show 2,500 results at a time. And that's because there's 25 people on a page and it shows 100 pages in each search. So usually I'm going to try to get this down a little bit lower. So maybe I'll throw in 51 to 200 headcount, maybe years in current position of three to five. And this is literally just to get the list down low enough. So now I'm at 1,000 results. And this is a list that I, I can come back to on a daily basis to connect with people. So I'm going to save this search as a send connection requests. So what I've done now is I've made it so I have these lead lists that I can that I can save leads to as I come back to my saved search to work. So in practice, what this looks like is being able to be in LinkedIn Sales Navigator at the home screen, go to my saved searches find my A connection request list. 
And now I can work off of this without having to put in that search criteria every single day. And so the first thing that you're gonna do is select everybody and hit save to list. And this is where that connection request sent list comes into play. So there's 25 people on a page. I usually send 25 to 50 connection requests a day. But if you save these people to a list, what this allows you to do is go to the next save search and the final save search that we're gonna create. And that's gonna be showing you the people that connect with you. So second and third degree connections in this saved search, we're gonna go ahead and connect with people on a daily basis. And then this last and final saved search that I'm gonna show you kind of loops this all together. So we're saving these people to lead lists as we're working them through our pipeline. I'm gonna sort by first degree connections. Again, I'm gonna remove contacted people, but now instead of excluding my lead lists, I'm gonna to go to that connection request sent one and I'm gonna search that lead list. And so you can see that I'm getting zero results here. I'm just gonna go ahead and save this as B send message. And the reason that I'm getting zero results here is because nobody that I've added to this connection request sent list has accepted my connection request yet. This will change as you send more and more connection requests though. And what this saved search is gonna be is this is gonna be all your new first degree connection. So as people go from a second or third degree connection, they'll automatically populate in this list as a first degree connection that inevitably you can go ahead and send a message to. So based on the lead lists and saved searches that we've made now, what I would recommend doing on a day to day basis is coming into LinkedIn Sales Navigator, going to your saved searches, going to your A send connection request list, which is going to be all of the prospects that are your ideal leads. You can make this search with different job titles, different industry, different headcount, different years experience. But the things you're gonna to wanna to definitely keep in are second and third degree connection, whatever geography, posted on LinkedIn in the last 30 days or changed jobs in the last 90 days because that indicates activity. And then really important is to remove contacted people and to exclude all saved leads. So now as a daily, activity, you can go through, select everybody on a page, save them to that connection request sent one list, go down the list and send connection requests to all of these people. And then what will happen is they will auto populate into the second place that you can go, which is that B send messages list. Now, as a reminder, nobody's showing up here right now because I haven't made any new connections. But every single day that you're making connections and sending connection requests, people will populate here. And that's where you can start off and use social selling, utilize conversational messaging and really start conversations. You'll do the same thing where you'll select all, save them to list, but instead of connection requests sent list, you'll be saving them to message sent list. And then all of the rest of the work will happen in your inbox. And that's where you can continue to organize people into a responded list, a follow-up list. And then as you get more advanced and start sending out in-mail messages, you can keep track of those as well. Hopefully this video was helpful to you. If it was, please feel free to like and subscribe. That's the free way to help us out. You can comment any questions or any other future videos that you'd like me to make. And there is also a free 60-day trial of Sales Navigator in the description below. Until next time.